like reds. I do, but it's just not my thing. I'm like you. What were those margarita things called again? Cayman Jack. Cayman Jack? All right. Cause Cayman Jack, margaritas. They also have Moscow Mule ones. I was at the liquor store the other night, and I'm like standing there. They're at Jewel. I'm like standing there, and I'm like, what the fuck were those margaritas called? You could have just texted me. Oh, yeah, but I didn't want to like wait in the liquor store to, like for you to respond to me because you were at work. Oh. Plus, I had like a lot of money on me too, so I was like trying to get out of this bougie ass fucking liquor store. Is it recording? The one by us? The one on the corner by like the twenty. Uh. 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 But yes, it is. Oh wow. Well. well, welcome back to Brain Lotion. We took like missed a, the last three weeks. I was gonna say, has it been like a full month, or yeah. has it been? Is this the four? If we would have missed this week, it would have been a full month of no podcast. Yes. But uh, we don't have any video today either, just because... Low budget, boys. Yeah. Well, no. We have everything to do. We're just not, like, highly motivated, I suppose. Um, Just not... I just don't, I just don't want to deal with video right now. I don't want to well, set it up. And yeah. And I don't want to... For later on, editing purposes. Very true. So. But, yeah, we haven't really had much going on, honestly, the past couple of weeks. We've just kind of been chilling, I, well, grinding. I've been, I've been busy, too. What have you been going doing? Going on dates and stuff. Well, yeah. So that's I mean, why I've missed... We're busy with social lives. Busy with personal, yeah. Personal life. I've been going on... Did I go on... Yeah, I think two of the three weeks I went on dates. Yeah. Uh, it's a good thing. It's uh, good to get out there. Uh, I, oh. It's good to get out of just like the house in general. And last weekend I got obliterated out of my mind. Well, it's like the pandemic. It definitely seems like it started to die down and everything, you know. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, last night I had gotten a news alert that said that the Senate had passed the 1.9, like, trillion dollar or, so, or billion dollar bill for the COVID relief plan. Oh, yeah. So we should be getting, um, possible, uh, wasn't it like possible $1,400 checks this month. I think it was this weekend they said it was possible. I'm pre- I saw it last night. So, it, usually when I get them at night, it was, like, at noon that day it happened. Yeah. Because that's why I, I, I always read the article if it's intriguing. And it was a very short article, and they said, yeah, like around noon or whatever. Yeah. But, I mean, it's definitely something that needs to happen. They were talking about something about, uh, like, relief plan for small businesses and stuff like that. And yeah. health care and all that fun stuff. Mm-hmm. It's definitely a good step in the right direction. Definitely, you know, looks good for any presidency to have that kind of, you know, relief plan for your citizens. Uh-huh. Trenton's painting his car. I am. We're to that 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 uh that that point. A couple of weekends that we've had off from the podcast, we I kind of just been spending my Sunday because I only have Sundays off on the weekends, so I just spend my Sunday. So you're gonna have Saturdays and Sundays soon to be, but I just spend my Sunday like tinkering around on the the Lexus. So I finally got the suspension ride height wise dialed in mm-hmm. to fit on Quentin's Redovan 19s. Running 235 or 45 in the front with 275s in the rear. Yeah, 245s in the front. It's uh, definitely big Guarantee that's Johnny. worth rubbing. Because there are 275s in the rear. Guarantee that's worth rubbing. Where? In the front? In the fender? Oh, yeah, right yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I just need no, to, like... I'm just talking shit. I need to get in there and, like, tap it back a little bit. Honestly, it was fine. Like, it's not even... No, I'm sure now that all eight of the rims are out of it, it's going to ride yeah. a lot better. <laughs> And I'm going to be reducing more weight from it, so, you know, the rear end's oh. getting... Or not the rear... Well, obviously, yeah, the rear end is getting pulled out oh, of yeah, it. Oh, yeah, and if fucking... Get re- re-welded. We always talk about my car. I don't want to necessarily talk about my car the whole time. No, I know, <laughs> but I'm saying, oh, and if Heather drifts mine, we have to take the sub out. We got to take the sub out, and we got to pull that diff out as well and weld it. Yep. And we have to pull the motor, because... Idea. What if we threw the the non-reservoir hydro in the IS? It's smaller. Less weight it might perform better. I don't know. Possibly. Because that's definitely like the setup that that is is definitely meant for like an inline setup, like how you had it. it which it was no, where that's, I, yeah, that's what it is made for. That's what I feel like it's practical for. But with like an automatic, you can't really stop like, the wheels like that. With such a big car, exactly. With such a big car like mine, it's it's it just slows you down. I don't even need it. I have an e brake. You're so right. I handle. You're so right. I just have to get. I have, just have to adjust it and get new brake shoes for it. Are they inner ones or yeah. are they the coil rotor or the coil calibers? They're not coil calibers. 
No, if they were coil calipers, they're the same calipers as yours. You know what was so peculiar to me? Hmm. So when I was on the left rear of the GS, like, looking around and doing the suspension, you remember how that caliper was, like, seeping? It's not seeping anymore. Hmm. I took a screwdriver, I compressed it both ways, all the pads moved fine and everything, it compressed fine, and I'm like, why are you leaking? And why are you not leaking anymore? It was probably from the hydro, maybe? I don't know. Maybe it was just, like, because that was the one side where it was actually... Because it was leaking. Yeah, yeah. Maybe that was the one side where it was fully sealed, so it was sending all that hydro power to the left rear. I guess, yeah. Maybe. But, yes, the diff, the diff needs to get re-welded. We've already talked about this. We are just um, we just need to get gas for the welder, and then it's going to get get done. Ugh. But, yes, it's getting painted. Um, That's if the spider gears aren't shattered. Yeah, that is if the spider gears are not shattered. Imagine, imagine one side is still like uh, together, and the other side is just like blown apart. I really want to look how it. I'm like, I'm so curious yeah. as to what fucking happened to that diff. It's not making a single noise. That's what I'm saying. It's like I could do a fucking hundred and twenty in that rear end, and I wouldn't hear shit. I don't get it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But it's very, very power reduced with the way the diff is right now. And it's kind of annoying. And it doesn't help that I just put fucking 19 275s on it. Yeah. So that rotational inertia is gone. Well, when you put the burners on it. When the burners are on it, yes, they will. Heather's going to have, have burners. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm still, like, my theory of the 410 rear end, I really think would work. Oh, sorry. I'm really tired. But, I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna get an energy racing seat for the IS. Yes. I want. I was looking into energy like uh, hubs and adapters for the wheel. Can I turbo it for Heather? Yep. Heather gets boosted two J. We need to boost my two J first. Heather gets a boosted two J. But for that thing to like go on track, we're either gonna need to put a splash shield on it or yours. Her, uh, yours. Oh yeah. No, we're gonna pull the motor and. Dude, let's just start pulling motor. You know what I think you should do? What, what I did? I think you should get a trans cooler. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Like how I got for the IS? Yeah. I think you should do that. It already has a trans cooler. It's just built in with the radiator. Yeah, it's horrible. Get, get a standalone one like I have. How much was your radiator? The radiator itself? Yeah. I think it was like in between 150 and 200, I think. That's not bad. Yeah. How much is the cooler? Like 900 bucks? No, I think it was like 60 or 70. Yo. Just saying. I'd be down to invest into it. Just throw a little... You just, you just gotta throw a little cooler on there. Keep her warm. I can't know? wait to fucking plastic weld the bumper back together. Yeah? Yeah. Is it gonna work, though? Yeah. It's not just plastic. I, I know. You have the mesh that you... The, the, like, the metal mesh that you put in there, and then you just, like... Smush all the plastic into it. I know. I have like three different types of plastic for the plastic welder too. Okay. What? Oh, I'm. I, I have the thick like rubber shit. That yeah. I'm pretty sure is for like bumpers and stuff. I have the skinny white rods. Yeah. Which I think are for like, I don't know, maybe like like a toy. Mm-hmm. Something like that. I'm no. I don't know. I don't know what the fucking actual plastic grading's called, but like, that's what I would assume an example of that would be. What uh and I have green rod too. I don't know what the green rod is for, but there was fuck there was something I was gonna talk about. Or or say, I forget. We need to get all the camber out of the rear of the IS. Oh absolutely. We gotta order arms all around for this thing. Oh yeah, that's what I was gonna The Serial Nine stuff is like six hundred bucks a set of But that's like quality stuff. It's really quality. It's all uh what's it called? Spheres spherical spherical, bushings. yeah. So that's why it's so expensive, though. And it's also just the quality of it is really good. So I had a, uh, I've been doing alignments at my work, and uh, last uh, earlier this week I had a uh, E46, 02 or 03 or something like oh, that. Oh yeah. Wide body, chameleon yellow and Did like you? orange, with had bright seats. It had a racing wheel, like harness bar, all that fun stuff. It had short shifter, dude. Yeah. Like uh, it felt like a do- like a gated. Short shifter, and I had to do an alignment on it. It was on bags. Yeah. And I'm like, dude, this thing's like dumb clean out here. 
But like under it was wrapped too, like this chameleon or whatever. Yeah. Really clean. So I'm sitting there like scrolling on Facebook and I come across like the little like group advertisements. Mm-hmm. First one, E forty six Drift Club. Guess who the fucking cover picture is? Who? This chameleon E forty six. Oh wow, really? Yeah. Huh. Because I was, like, picking his brain a little bit about the car. I'm like, so what do you do with it? He's like, oh, you know, I just travel around the country, like, shows and stuff like that. Huh. I'm like, dude, real cool. I'm like, I'm like, I got, I'm like, basically, I guess what I'm asking is, like, do you drift it? Yeah. Because I'm like, it looked like a drift setup. Yeah. But I'm like, it being on bags, I don't know about the whole drift setup on bags, how that's, mm-hmm. how that goes. But, um, yeah. Wow. He said he had drifted it in the past, so I'm... I'm Thinking it was maybe an older picture of the vehicle. Yeah, I'm not saying it. It, it. it really looked like his car. Yeah, but it had like window stickers and everything. It didn't have any window stickers when I saw the car in person. I drove it. Thing was dumb quick. So you can buy rear traction arms for your car Just for 150 bucks. Yeah, I know. Yeah, but the thing is, it's weird to me. But why don't they have them for the IS? But how do you get like like? Do you get like a weird rear caster from having multiple adjusting points? Yeah, I think so. That's what I'm saying. So like I wouldn't know what to do with that. Because if I have like one arm zeroed all the way out, but I have this one all the way out and it's like where I need it to be, like Yeah. How the fuck does that work? Is it gonna set the wheel like further back in the wheel well, far further forward? Like mm-hmm. I don't know, I'm just not diverse in no, multiple adjustment yeah. points. Yeah. I do want to get those rear solid arms, though. I like how this website says, like, all of our products are for off-road use. <laughs> for sedans? No, just, like, the website. But you're looking for I'm arms looking for, for arms. an IS. <laughs> yeah. Like, it means, like, track track use. That seems a little weird. Was I don't know if we you? had... Um, Mentioned it mentioned it in the last um, podcast. I don't know because I don't know. Like honestly, I don't even fucking remember what we we talked about in the last podcast. Mm-hmm. I'm sure it was about my car as well and all the oh, ideas yeah. that we are kind of following through with here. But R.I.P. to six dogs. I don't think we ever got a chance to mention that. I I don't. I think we did. Did we? Yeah. But either way, say it again. I guess since, no, yeah. since it's been a while. R.I.P. R.I.P. Six dogs. Butt cheeks. Butt cheeks, bro. That guy did like a, I watched the like the Adam at twenty two interview after he had passed away. Yeah. And like the points he was saying are like very valid. Like I love I would just love to know what his mind state was when he was in that situation. Uh huh. And just like where he was as like in his career as a yeah. person, like where what got him to that point basically. Dude. What? Rear rear knuckle bushings connects to rear lower arm. Yeah, that's what's bad on my car. Your rear lower bushings? Yeah, remember? Oh, the knuckle bushings? They sell the bushings. Mm, yeah, you just drill them out and I know, press but them they're in. eighty bucks. That's not bad. And also, what I was thinking, if we're rear gonna lower the, the rear lower control arms, how much are those? Four hundred and fifty dollars. Rear lowers? You need rear lowers? <sighs> rear uppers? Five hundred and forty-one. From Godspeed or from who? Godspeed doesn't make them anymore. It go. It's Megan now. Yeah. Those are from Megan? Mm-hmm. 540 because it's the drift tax. It's the fucking drift tax, dude. See the GS, dude? Those upper arms? arms 300 those, bucks. those Megan upper arms? Same thing. Yeah. $381. Oh, my fucking God. Yeah. I can get a... Oh, shit. Head. We get a chassis brace, like that, like for underneath. Yeah. Roll center rear adjusters, which are what you are gonna need. What is that? To space out the ca- the p- ball joint in your car. Oh, so we're gonna lift your car even more with the coilovers. Because we're gonna put those roll centers, which are a spacer in between the ball joint and the. Yeah. Yeah. How much are those? The roll centers. Eighty bucks. From Megan. Didn't we find them cheaper? No, I think that was the cheapest. Was Megan? Yeah. I don't wanna. Unless we could... <sighs> what do they look like? Can we just build a spacer? No, because they're out of billet. Fuck. 
Do they need to be billig? We can't just buy like a fucking I chunk mean, of steel. I mean, I would because it's like kind of like a pretty crucial point. Like that's what connects the. Yeah. Is it gonna come with like extended bolts and everything? Yeah. I guess fucking. I mean, you can look more into it if you want. Next week, on uh, uh, Tuesday, you know I'll I mean? order all the parts. But I'm saying you can look more into it if you want. Yeah. Tuesday, Tuesday I'll order all the parts. Dude, you know what stuff's like lit, dude? I bought fucking 18 beers. Yeah. That'll probably last me like till the end of the month. No. No, actually, I give it like two weeks. It's only the seventh. I give it two weeks, actually. It's literally only the seventh. I bought this like maybe like. Did I buy? I think Wednesday I bought them. Mm-hmm. Or maybe, I don't know. Dude, I really want to buy this exhaust for the GTI. What exhaust? Rev9 Catback exhaust. $336? That's not bad. That's from literally the cat back. all the way back. Dude, that is not bad. It's a muffler delete. I tried looking up, like... Dude, you need to get the Yaga ready for me. I can't. I, or I can, but... I don't know. <sighs> I don't know, man. And then the fucking GS is going in on in May, dude? Yeah. Dude, we're gonna pull that engine bay and fucking power wash the fuck out of it. We're gonna trailer it down to the fucking car wash and fucking power wash the shit out of it. Yeah, me too. You're, 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 you're Actually, not I fucking hype. You're no this. hype. I am always hype. You are not hype. You yeah, make me okay. mad. Okay. Yeah, me too. Oh, what I was gonna fucking ask you before was to poop up. If um, if we pull the motor and I want to take the head off, yeah. Can I reuse the fucking belt tensioner for the t- timing belt? I mean, it's new, so I guess I don't see why not. Well, cool, because like they're easy to recompress. You just take the, you just yeah, put them in a vice and repin it. That's what I'm it. saying. I mean, I guess I don't, I don't know. I guess I don't see. Somebody in Manasa, United States, just bought bushings. Just notified me on this website. <laughs> Nobody cares. Yeah. Sorry, I'm looking at clutches right now. Yeah, you're not really involved in this podcast. I'm just kind of leading this. Yeah, that's fine. But uh, whatever. I'm just drinking my Reds Apple, Reds uh, Hard Apple. Sponsor me. Godspeed. Sponsor me. I need a uh, Bush Light. Sponsor me. Bush Light. Sponsor me. What if I could? What if we look up car sponsors? Look it up. Like car sponsorships, you know what I mean? I applied for fucking sponsorships and like nobody emailed me back. Really? Yeah. What did you? What did you? So no, me? there was this like um, uh, it's probably a fucking scam. That's why it's a Facebook thing. Redline three sixty free car sponsorships. Fucking hit them up, man. We need our turbo. Mishimoto kit. gets sponsored. Team Mishimoto. Dude, hit them up. Hit up Mishimoto, dude. I need a fucking radiator. Get sponsored. Team Mishi sponsor. I need radiator and brake it. Let's go. <sighs> It's Click just, to apply. This just turns into a, commenta- com- a commentary of me and Quentin trying to get sponsors. <laughs> <laughs> when you're just trying to live cheap. When you're just trying to live fucking free, bro, and just do fun stuff, but your car takes too much money and it's a piece of shit, and you just want to paint no, it blue. Remember when I... Got, remember like, when I when, uh, you know, fucking oh, Max, Max Peding yeah, Max fucking Peding reached out and wanted to sponsor me, I was like, and I was going back and forth emailing them. I'm like, no, 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 no. Listen. I'm not going to be paying more than $50 for this downpipe. Because it was like a $100 downpipe. I was like, and they're like, wanted to give me like 20% off. I was like, uh-huh. bro, that's fucking $80 for a still. Yeah, but I'm like, or I think it might have been 70 or something. Oh I was God. like, you can't do 30% off. I was like, come on. If it was 100 bucks when and it was 30% off, it would be $70. Yeah, I know. So you want 50% off. Get sponsored in as fast as 24 to 48 hours. Apply free. It's probably discounts, is what you're applying for. It's not even a full sponsorship. It's just discounts. Yeah, probably. Be like, oh, with your sponsorship, you get a five percent discount. It's like, why do I have to enter? Really, boy. Your vehicle make and model. What's what are my product why? choices? Why? Air intake, racing seats, turbo. Turbo. Please tell us about your social self. 
leverages their own website and reduces to heighten the value of your uh, wh wh where was I oh heighten the value of yourself to get you sponsored the value of yourself we are commentators for the podcast Brain Lotion should I? We are sponsored by Anchor. Try to do this? Yes, and put the brain lotion this down. Is, is your social the advisor. fastest way to the fastest way to sponsorship? Just put says, brain lotion. Get down. sponsored in as fast as twenty four to forty eight hours from some of the biggest companies in the automotive industry. Put brain lotion down because if they see this, is like, yeah, but like, how am I gonna? I want like. Because brain lotion is our only form of like social media that we're actually like. Yeah, but like what. Involved. In. I want to know of what kind of what things you're applying for, or well, like, like sponsorships. Yeah, like well, what companies? I should say, if it's a car sponsorship, Quentin, any fucking brand will be fine. <laughs> Let's look up how it works. I, I clicked on that. Uh, it says, although we work one on one with some of the biggest names in the industry. Pedal Commander, Weapon R, Furious Customs, Action Clutch, BodyKits.com, BodyKits.com, Speed Zone, Performance, Vertical Doors, PLX Devices, Vis, Vis Racing, Wings, Plasma Glow, and others. You are not limited to just those companies. We will pursue sponsorships from all types of automotive companies that you choose. The fastest way to sponsor. Are they a middleman? Is basically what they are. They they you apply to them and then they go apply for you. I guess. Yeah, I guess they're probably like the middleman. The, the middleman. It just sounds so ass backwards to me because wouldn't they're you a just middle wanna, boy? Wouldn't you want to just contact the, the company yourself? I guess. Well, I feel like you. Spoiler do. King. Spoiler King. I don't know what that is. Variant wheels. Could use some wheels. Yanaka. I I I don't know. I guess I guess I'll look into this later. Right. I mean, we can look into it now. I mean, don't be filling out applications right now, but why not? But yeah, the GS is getting painted tropical. Uh, tropical oh, you can turquoise. only enter one vehicle though. Yeah, enter the GS. I Gee. thought we were doing this for the IS, so. <laughs> <laughs> fucker. <laughs> like, no, 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 no. The GS is a fa face of brain lotion. Or the Miata. Dude, get me. Or the Miata. Get me a brain lotion livery for the G for the GS. Dude, I, so I was looking those up. A banner. We get banners for the car. It's a brain lotion. And two emojis in the middle. I will do my best. I'm c w willing to commit my back window to this. But I can't find somebody that's going to, like, cheaply, not cheaply, but you know what I mean, like, sub $50, $60 to make it. What if, don't, doesn't, we also like. need to measure the windshields. Doesn't, like, um, Office Depot? Duramax? Doesn't Office Depot just, like, print pl pl final? I don't know. I don't, what car should we put into this? Probably the IS, right? Or the Miata. The GS really doesn't need anything. That's what I'm saying. The, the IS or the Miata. Yeah, I'd I'd pick the IS, just because of the the sheer cost of the IS. Yeah, because the Miata you can at least get some like bootleg ass parts for it. Air suspension, lowering springs, coilovers. Select all. I can't. You can only select three. Oh, performance upgrades. That one. That one needs Engine to be Engine parts, one audio equipment, interior upgrades, exterior upgrades, accessory upgrades, hood. You know what? Okay, Quinn. You know what I want to build for the fucking hmm. GS? What? Door cards. Metal door cards for the <laughs> rear doors. Okay. I want to strip them. You got to get that thing like Taylor Ray. Yeah, exactly. But no, you know what Wait, I'm going to so do? We should probably do coilovers. Oh, you have a rivet gun, right? Yeah. Quarter inch. Well, well, I can, do a three can you can you do two. can you do riv nuts with that? No, because it's just straight like you pop and rivets. Yeah, you can't just like do it's like just, a half they're, press. They're for pop rivets. They're not for. It's not for riv It's nuts. not for like buck rivets either. You know what a buck rivet is? Like where you fucking hammer it down. You like put it in the hole and you put a piece of metal on the back side of it, which and is you a, hammer a into it. bar and you take an air hammer. And you just, yeah, and it's red hot and you, so you can press no, it. No, you know it's not. 
they're just aluminum or stainless steel ones. Oh. It's really loud, so you gotta wear earmuffs. Have you had to do them? Yeah, well, you do it all the time. Really? Yeah. Oh. To do panels and shit. How many do you, oh, you have to do a lot of them then? Yeah. Take time for it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I have coilovers. Racing seats, right? Racing seats, indeed. Racing seats, and then my our third choice, performance parts. <laughs> no, probably suspension. Yeah. Like. <laughs> I kind of want to stream tonight, but like I don't know what to stream. What would we even stream? I can hop on the computer. Yeah, I mean, you can stream if you'd like. Like, I don't have to be... The stream is my summer car. You could. Man. Oh, you know what I could play tonight? What? Oh, but I think I deleted it. Rocket leg. It's not letting me select a third Ooh. choice. Ooh. Maybe you can only select two. I don't think so. Oh. I'm just like so not motivated for what anything. <laughs> <laughs> ah, excuse me. Like I just I really want to just like go take a shower right now. I took one this morning. It was amazing. I took one last night and it was really good. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, and like this like I don't like I like I don't have a headache, but I do have a headache, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like my head feels compressed. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so what um suspension or like exterior cuz i have coilovers seats <laughs> and suspension probably yeah right yes and also, what I was thinking, if we pull the rear diff on the GS, should I put solid bushings in it? What other products are you interested in getting sponsored with? Anything and any, everything and anything. I can't. I don't think I can add that. Dude, so we we're doing this transmission at work. I was assisting. Yeah. And uh, it was on a Jeep Wrangler, and we pulled the transfer case off. Oh, exterior upgrade. Without draining the transfer case fluid. Yeah. And I was like, did that really just work? It's like, nothing leaked out of it. Really? Yeah. I'm like, how the fuck did that just work? And we took it off of, like, the, the trans hoist, or, like, the trans, like, uh, trans jack, and it fucking, like, didn't leak a drop. Yeah. Add up all your social friends <sighs> and followers estimate. What do you mean? Add up all your social friends and followers. How many social people do we have? Like followers? I, I'm assuming so. Let me look at the brain lotion stuff. Because <laughs> are you associating associating it with with brain lotion? Do yeah. we have an Instagram? Mm, yeah, but I don't think anybody follows. All right, let's look for the Twitter. Oh, I don't have Twitter. Yeah, I don't have Twitter. Oh yes, I do. This podcast is turning into two dudes on their phones. It really is. What the fuck? Why am I not signed in? Okay, I'm, well, I'm not signed into Twitter, so I can't tell. So we have a total of 200-something views. Uh... What the fuck was that? It's TikTok. <laughs> it's I guess TikTok. we could involve TikTok. Yeah, well, it says in total. Brain. I just put 250 to 500. Yeah, yeah, do that. Okay. Is it underscore lotion or is it just lotion? Brain lotion. What the fuck? Somebody, some, somebody has our name. Yeah, probably us. It's some no, it's somebody named fucking Michael. Oh yeah, because I had to put an underscore. In the middle. Yeah. Somebody named Michael. Has our fucking full brain lotion. Like, so, just, yeah, that's it's why just I had brain a, lotion. Yeah, that's why I had to put an underscore in ours. It's a brain underscore lotion? Yeah. Um, Follow us on Twitter, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, follow us. Wait, can you find it? 
Apparently not. <sighs> Cray. Cray. Yeah, it's at brain underscore lotion. Oh, it's at. <laughs> Do I have to put the at? Um, I don't know. I don't think so. At brain underscore. Oh, fucking some little brain room. <clears throat> No, I did sprint swell right. Oh yeah, currently have brain. What would I? What would we call this? What a business or a? I I don't know. What would we call this? A business or like what would we call what we do? YouTube channel, podcast. Am I fucking spelling lotion wrong? L o t i o n. L O T I O N. Yes. Are you spelling brain right? B R A I N. Yes. Yeah, brain lotion is not coming up for me. Give me it. Let me see. On TikTok. Oh, I forgot. It's the official brain lotion. Because somebody had brain lotion. That's us. Give me this. Or check followers to see who is following us. Yeah. Okay. It's literally only us. I know. But what would you what would you call us what we do? What do you a mean? A business? Or Yeah, I would classify brain lotion as a business. Well, like it creates income. It has created income. True. See, like, the thing is with, like, the earlier podcast, like, these might seem boring, but, like, this is us basically talking about, like, the building blocks of what we're trying to create, basically. Yeah. So that when maybe we do succeed, mm-hmm. we can look back and be like, damn, we were fucking goofy back then. Like, why the fuck did we do this this way? Or why did we do it that way? Or why why weren't we more motivated to do something before we did it? It figured out like mm-hmm. like if we figure out something that like fucking blows us up or whatever, you know. Like why didn't we do this sooner? Some shit like that. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know, man. We just need to like do something sooner. Like we should have filmed today. Yeah, we could have. We literally could have filmed all of today. Like us going to J Mike's, coming back. Starting up the Yada, taking a first spin, yeah. coming back over here, going to buy Plasti. <clears throat> I just need to charge my GoPro more and just pick up the camera more. Yo, you know what I might do? Should I, should I get a credit card? <laughs> no. Go buy a laptop. And then, uh, go and just like pay, make payments on this laptop hold on or what if I applied for like a Best Buy credit card that'd be a bad idea maybe no, if I have a Best Buy credit card bro I'm gonna run shit up honestly motive I'm trying to think of a word to put there. You know, I'll For do this what? later. I'll, I'll, I'll fucking, I'll, I'll finish writing this later. I'm getting distracted. <laughs> I was right because I was writing the reason for why they're like, tell us why they think, tell us why you think we should get sponsored. We're motivated, but not really motivated. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'm, throughout the week, I'm gonna, I think Tuesday or Wednesday night, I might run to like the store, buy everything we're gonna need to paint the Lexus. I wonder if I should upload that other video what? of us winterizing the Jetta onto the Brain Lotion channel. Yes. And the Brain Lotion Facebook. Because I put it on my my personal channel, I believe. I think I put it on, like, like me personally. Yeah. We just need to, like, film more, dude. I need to get a laptop. Go get one. I don't know what you want from me. We only have five views on that. Put it on. But your video has. What seven, video? Seventeen. The GS. Yeah. Are you sliding? Really? Yep. 
because I'm good at whatever. Angelo's I mean. with the most at 31. And then your other one, Trent didn't attempt to install new parts on his Slam GS300. How much is that view? 23 views. Damn. Yeah, because we come up in the GS category now with the GS. Yeah. Well, that's on my personal channel, though. That's not on BL. So the Brain Lotion channel? Yeah. I want to kind of like upload my drift shit, too, I think. Okay. Should we do that? I mean, I already put my album up there. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. Like, I uploaded a fucking album to the fucking channel, so I mean. <laughs> the fucking brain lotion channel. Frankie now. Fun. Go check out, yeah, well, during Quentin's fucking, our break of the fucking podcast. I got Quentin, 17 views on the first one. Quentin made a fucking album called Frankie Fun's Half Rack. <laughs> you like that uh, EP yes. name? The EP Half Rack. Yo, Frankie yes. Fun's Half Rack, how we doing? Is that your, your like, DJ persona? Is, is Frankie, Frankie Fun's? Fun's? Yes. yes. Or if oh I make God, any music, yes. it's gonna be Frankie Fun's. Dude. You need to. We need to like get in touch with like some kind of promoter. Do you think Charles is like a promoter now? I don't think so. But we currently have 17 views on the first one. We need to like the get... first song of the album. We need to get in touch with a promoter. EDM stuff is then comes in second at six at 15. Damn. The name of the tracks are Lo Fi. Then the second one is possibly. Then the third one is Tossy Synth. Fourth one is EDM stuff. The fifth one is Hard Banger. Oh my god. <laughs> the sixth one is Smooth Lil. And then the seventh and final one is Retro Kinda. Uh, these are literally all names I came up while I was drunk making the music. Like, that's oh just like what god. I saved the track as. Yeah. And then just put it as the name for that. Fuck it. Yeah. I don't know, man. I really don't. I like how I'm gonna I feel like I should I wanna work on my car more, but like I feel like that stream of the casual Minecraft brain lotion stream has no views on it. I feel like I should just private that. Should I just private it? <laughs> it's like a five hour long video. Two. Two hour long video, sorry. Yeah, get it right. The amount of streams we had where we just streamed for <laughs> hours. Not even that much, really, if I'll be honest. I should play, oh, dude, I need to get my Xbox fixed, dude. So <laughs> We've gotten 83 views in the last 28 days. Hmm. Huh? On what? Uh. Since I uploaded the album. Dude, should we, do you have Rocket League? <laughs> We've gotten two views in the last 48 hours. Do you have Rocket League? No. Do you have any fucking fun games? No, I don't really play. Why do you not have fun games? I don't really have video games anymore. I don't really. Do we could play Forza? Do you want to play Forza? Nah. Content, content, content. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Make content. Oh, I got one. I got likes. We got likes in these videos. On what videos? The EDM stuff. EDM stuff and lo-fi. Have likes. Yeah, they both have one like. I don't know who liked it. <laughs> People like the Frankie Fun EP. <laughs> oh <my fucking laughs> they like the half rack EP. <laughs> Dude, put it on SoundCloud. <sighs> you haven't even listened to it, motherfucker. I've listened to bits of it. Not even. I private. I privated the stream. Do it. The private. Oh, we have a video. like on our brain lotion podcast too. The, the f episode fifteen. What, who liked that? That was the first one we did videos with. I, it doesn't tell me. I can't see. Bro, how did the how did Frankie Fun's Lo-Fi Half Rack EP get 17 views? Like, on the first track. Dude, wait. It's a little hype. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I just had an epiphany. What? You know what we could do? Because hmm. I want to, like, really incorporate, like, a 999 somewhere on the GS. I was, you know, what I was thinking about that too. Put it on the back window, just put a big nine 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 in the back. I was thinking uh, the left rear quarter stencil like a giant fucking like nine 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 cut out out of like paper, just lay it on the corner panel and just. Lay I feel into like it. you should just get a big vinyl thing for the back windshield of nine nine nine. Yeah. 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 Oh, well, it's gonna be a big, big nine nine nine. Yeah. I mean, it's not gonna like you can get it either. No, I know. I'm saying, but like, it's gonna be expensive, big. Oh, eh, maybe. 
It's gonna be like a hundred bucks for a giant vinyl nine nine nine. Not my problem. You like it? I didn't. You know what? I was I was just gonna paint it on the car. Yo, wait, what? Okay, so we need four thousand public watch hours. What do you mean? In order to get monetized with the fucking good old YouTube, we need four thousand public hours and one thousand subscribers required. We just need to make more content. Just start vlogging. Can I start putting shit up on Talk Tick? What do you mean? Yeah, because you know what? I will have to agree. With, I will agree with you. So, like, when we do upload a video, yeah. we should take, like, highlight pieces of it, put it into a TikTok, and put it on TikTok. Because the algorithm of, like, TikTok is, like, so weird. Because, like, if somebody, like, because I've experienced it with my own TikTok, if you fully watch certain TikToks, It'll stay. It'll pop up more. Yeah. But if you just skip, like, if you watch, like, even half of yeah, it, I've realized like, it won't, like, mm-hmm. play into your algorithm. Yeah. Because, like, my old, because I have two accounts. Mm-hmm. I have, because I have account an account on my TikTok, or on my iPhone, and then on this phone. Yeah. That reminds me. I gotta check my fucking emails and see if my tick, my, uh. Talk tick? My uh, Apple account is ready to be fucking validated, validated, god damn it. Well, it's already been validated. It just needs to be unlocked. It's on a 25-day lockdown. That's fucked, bro. And it said sometime in March. I don't fucking remember. Why did you know. do that? Because I'm like... I'm bad with passwords. can't believe it. But I'm getting better. I have every single account that I have made from that day that I fucked up my Apple account. Yeah. I have written down in a notebook. So don't come steal my passwords. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um... But yes, all my passwords are written down in a notebook, so I do not forget them. Just go listen to some tossy, th- tossy synth. Cause like I don't even like it's to the point where if my, like I don't even trust like my autofill on my phone. It's like I will enter my password just cause I know it. What is written down is what it is. Yeah. And it's like if I change the password, I'm like Heather, grab the notebook. <laughs> we need to write this down. Yeah. And I was writing them all down for like a good bit. <laughs> I have terrible fucking handwriting. And she's like, can I rewrite this? And I'm just like, <laughs> yes, yes, you could rewrite this. Because I called her one day at work because I was trading Jim my, my Disney Plus account for a different account. for I think it's one of his brother's accounts or yeah. something. But uh, she was like, she looked at the notebook. She was like, can I re- can I rewrite this? <laughs> like, this looks like, <laughs> I could tell in like her voice, like, this looks like ass. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. I can read it. I know what it says, but I'm like, go ahead and re- re- rewrite it. <laughs> yeah, it looks a lot better now, though. I won't. I won't lie. Quite legible. My handwriting is quite shit. Oh, I went to go look at a motorcycle um, Thursday. Yeah, how was that? Um, it didn't go as planned. I was really overhyped myself. I don't have good enough credit to get a motorcycle. Another hit on your credit. No, he he explained to me it's not, it's not it's a it's a soft pull. Oh, he's just, he's it's just, not a hard pull on credit. It's a soft pull. And so I went in there and he's he just talking like, softly. He's like looking like like I told him I'm like like a first time buyer and he was like oh he's like well you're not gonna have good enough credit. And I'm like I have pretty decent credit. I'm like he's like well well like what kind of credit lines do you have? I'm like I have a Maco account. He's like oh he's like you know with like low accounts like that. I'm like. This is not a low account, yeah, buddy. Yeah, it's your only account. I, I know this, but I'm like, this account was a car, basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like a fucking brand new Mercedes, basically. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, like this is a big account. Kinda. Yeah. Like, this is a lot of credit. And he pulled it and denied. I need a cosigner. Yeah. So, hey, you want to cosign on a motorcycle with me? Ricardo said, "If I put if I put a thousand dollars down, he'll 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 co-sign with me." <laughs> Do not want to put thousand dollars down on a motorcycle. I need to just start pulling out money like every week to set aside for you. Okay. For bills. Because it's like, it's stupid of me 
to pay you fully out of one paycheck because it's like half of that paycheck is what I'm paying you then. Mm-hmm. But if I take it out of every paycheck, it's already set aside. I just grab that by the end of the yeah. month. I'm just like, there you go. Yeah. So what I paid you would be consistent with monthly, right? I'm not going to say like numbers or anything. But what I did pay you would pretty be consistent much. with monthly. So it would be. Yeah, pretty much. 40. Uh, Maybe 50. Yeah. Weekly. I mean, that's up to you. No, I'm just saying. That's like what I'm going to take on and set aside. Yeah. Because even if it is more, I know I owe you money. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I mean, I guess, yeah. Because what, didn't you pay last month? Or last week? Yeah. Okay, so then I will pull out 100 bucks. Was it? Tuesday. I think it was last week, yeah. Yeah. But I'm going to pull out 100 Tuesday. Set it aside. Then I'll be you for the next time you pay bills. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because I'm sick of being behind on paying <laughs> bills. I'm just trying to it be, like, better what with... It I'm is. just trying to be better with, like, everything all around. No, I feel you. That Sorry, I'm just me. really sad on change. this fucking... Remind me when we're done with this. I need to change my laundry over. Okay. Also, I think it's been six weeks since my earrings, so I want to, like... You want my gauge set? We can find them. That's what I'm saying. I want to, like, start stretching. I'll give them to you. That's fine. We'll Angel said he had a set, too. So. We have the same body, so. Yeah. I mean, I did use Angelo's as well when I was younger. No, I know. And I appreciate that, dude. Like, cause <coughs> I could always just go buy my own, too. We were just kind of, like, fucking around at that time and just, like, had n- really nothing fucking better to do. I hit the stretch game late. You really did. <laughs> because I remember you I remember you being kind of jealous when I was fucking stretching mine, and you're just kind of like... I was like, yeah, because I wanted to stretch mine. Well, you were working, and it's like you didn't have time for, like, going to get piercings. So we didn't be able to make that much money back then. Not even that, I just more of, like, was... We were focused on other shit, because that was, like, right at the time the giant friend group fell apart. Kind of, yeah. And we were just kind of, like, all, like, trying to find our own path and, like, what to do next, basically. Now me and Smooth are just... Dude, we're just vibing. You know what? I really would have... Sh- I would have known it would have came to this. <coughs> Not saying I'm unhappy with it, but I'm just, you like... should have known. This is what it was going to be all but along. The thing, no, but the thing is, is I did know... And I just denied it because I didn't want to believe that, like, this is how it was going to turn out, you know? Yeah. So I just kind of embraced it all. And I was, like, I was upset at, like, myself and kind of everybody else. It's kind of why, I, like, I hold a good grudge against that whole situation is because we didn't do anything. Yeah. Yeah. We didn't do anything. And if we did, nobody told us. So we can't even, like, we don't even know what we did. Yeah. Yeah, not wrong. And we were always the neutral ones. And, like, I don't know if anybody from that fucking group is listening, but no hard feelings. If you want to chill, let's chill. Exactly. I mean, you know, exactly. Yeah. Any any single person from that friend group could hit me up and be like, hey, let's chill. And I'd be like, all right, let's chill. Mm -hmm. It was like, I want to say maybe, maybe even longer, three or four months ago, I went and hung out with, um, I'm going to say his his name, I guess, because I don't think he's really going to care. But Brendan, I went and hung out with Brendan a long time ago. Josh, <laughs> Josh was a part of that. We hung out with Josh. You, you guys heard I still him on hang the podcast. Josh the most. You guys heard him on the podcast. He was, you know, he's still one of our day Josh ones. Most, yeah. He's one of our day ones. And you know, we all moved around away from the town, but he's the closest one. Shout out Bay. Shout out Bagel, dude. He's the, oh, honestly Bay. the day one. The drink. Bay, the drink as well. And Red Apple sponsor us. Bay and Red Apple. <laughs> um. But no, Bagel really is a day one because he was even there before the, the really the friend group was formed. Yeah, from like middle school days. Yeah, elementary school days for me. Because <coughs> yeah, I remember yeah. like <laughs> me come, me and you coming home from like school or whatever. You're in middle school, and we would just spend weekends in Grandma's fucking upstairs, like our upstairs bedroom at Grandma's, just playing like these stupidest video games. Mm-hmm. Yeah, eating fucking frozen pizzas, drinking soda, smoking cigarettes. Stealing, yeah. stealing cigarettes. Uh huh. Dude, just yeah. to like, and it's like only if I knew, like, like I knew it was being like being adult was gonna be like shitty and like responsibilities. I didn't know it was gonna be this shitty. Mm-hmm. Cause this is pretty shit. Yeah. And then you think more into it, and it's like, well. <clears throat> What happens when our parents are passed away? And when we're the top generation, we're going to be, like, a part of the ones where it's, like, <coughs> we're going to be the ones that vote. We're going to be the ones yeah. that, like, have a say in, like, political shit. Because, like, right now, I feel like 
either of our generations really doesn't give very much fucks about fucking political shit. Mm-hmm. And if they do, they're very deep into it. It's either you are or you aren't. And if you aren't, exactly. you're yeah, just really exactly. separated from it. And it's like, whatever happens, happens. Pretty much, yeah. But, like, the more I watch things and the more I read things, the more I have an understanding. Like, oh. The more I have it. Well, like, no, I understood the fucking government system and everything and the three different parts and all that bullshit. Yeah. But, like. I did my, sorry, my, my allergies are just fucking me today. You know what? I thought about that last week, too. I'm like, it's turning into spring. I'm like, it's warming up. Like, Quentin's gonna get fucked with allergies. Literally. I'm like... <laughs> I'm getting fucked right I now. Literally, it's not even... <laughs> I literally said that in my head. Quentin is gonna get fucked with allergies. Yes. And there it is. I'm literally getting fucked with allergies, and it's not even... It's, it's been 50 any, degrees. There's not even any fucking plants growing. <laughs> I, I know! <laughs> there's still snow. You were telling me! There's I'm like, snow. bro... <laughs> Imagine how it's gonna be when it when shit fully fucking blossoms. Well, imagine in the middle of summer, like you're not, gonna, no, you're you're in the fucked. middle of summer, I'm fine because my body is used to that. I'm talking like Quinn's gonna be taking like fucking like eight <sighs> Zyrtex a day, <laughs> and not for fun, not for fun. No, we're not pick, taking Benadryl by the dozen anymore. You ever pop a Benny, bro. <laughs> Drop a Benny on my ribs. <laughs> exactly. But no, yeah, it's just uh, annoying, I guess. It's just crazy being here now in, like, because, like, like I was saying, like, I wish I would have known because, like, shit would have been figured out a long time ago. Yeah. 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 That's I also where wish I we would have started something. Knows. I also wish we would have started something like this. We we always wanted to I start know. something. That's when, what I'm saying. I wish we started it a long time ago because... Like, that was always our plan. We, like, because if we were doing that then, now we would be, you know what I mean? We'd have experience in what we're doing. Right now is basically our building experience phase. Yeah. And we're we're too, we're old. Because, you know what? <laughs> we're old. We're old for it. Because watching Haggard Garage, these motherfuckers were 17 and 18, making 10 grand a week. Roughly. Roughly ten grand a week, able to build like whatever they wanted. Yeah. And like Orion said in the Bitcoin video, his I don't know if you guys heard, but Orion from fucking Hagger Garage just finally crawled all of his hole. Plot twist: he wasn't gone. He was just making a year long video. <laughs> but uh, his jitterbug. That's what I'm, dude. He was really jittery. I was like, no, oh. the jitterbug, the cell phone. Oh, the flip phone. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, no. I'm like, dude, he's full doomsday mode. <laughs> Literally. And he was like telling everybody to go buy rice and beans. <laughs> oh, Dude, this man. He was crazy for the right reasons. I won't lie. Man. It made him a millionaire. I mean, a lot of people are just jealous of his come up. But, I mean, honestly, you got to respect the hustle. The guy hustled. And he really is a grinder. And if he, he set his mind to something and he really dedicated himself. And I can't, be, uh, yeah. I can't be jealous. I, you know, you can be jealous of that, but you can't blame. Yeah, you can't blame the fucking guy. Yeah, exactly. You would have done the same thing if you were in his situation. Yeah. <clears throat> he turned six hundred k into fucking five million dollars. Roughly, yeah. That was rounded down, Quentin. That was rounded down. I know. Rounded down uh, at four point okay, eight but also million don't dollars. Forget taxes come out, so forty percent of five million dollars. Quentin, he set aside out of one. Point two million, yeah. six ten, or six eighty or whatever he set I aside for taxes. And Trey, or, then it was, no, it was one point like five million he was going to take out of it. Yes, because he was left over with like ninety eight something. Hold on, three, three. It's two million dollars. So in the end, he'll only have thirty three million. He's still a fucking millionaire. Yeah. He has the ability for the next 10 years to not do anything. For the rest of his life. <laughs> Essentially, yes. Like, <laughs> we, we, we grew up watching this guy knowing how he is. He's yeah. <clears throat> He says he's a minimalist, and I believe it. He came to be a, millen- a minimalist. But in the beginning... It really seemed like he was just like baller status, yeah. Like, just like, like the Genesis, like the truck, the seven three, all of it, dude. He was just baller status, dude. He was fucking Pretty balling. Much, yeah. He's fucking balling. Yeah. 
I mean, you can't blame the guy. Exactly. You can't. You really cannot. And now this is going to be our podcast that gets blown up because we're talking about Orion. 7-3 fucking mint van, dude. I remember seeing him drop off that 7-3 van at that garage to get fucking built. And I'm like, that's my fucking dream. <laughs> it's like, I want a 7-3 van. I'm like, I want a fucking 7-3 rape van to fucking roll coal and spin tires while I'm I, pulling see, a for fucking me personally, I wouldn't have put the I wouldn't have cut the muffler the exhaust right out like for its only downpipe because that would just get so, so loud and annoying. annoying it's nothing but turbo <laughs> literally it was making like, like 700 horsepower too like that thing was nuts was it? Yeah. yeah it was okay. yeah that's why it was it was so quick it like, is what it is what did, he beat something in it what did he beat I think he took a drag racing or something I forget or wasn't it it might have been an STI I don't remember he fucking hauled ass in that thing but now we're gonna build the IS we're gonna have the Duramax as our fucking tow we're hauler build, bro? The, the IS is gonna be the build that blows it up I feel like it is okay. dude I just feel like the, the dual Lexus the dynamic duo with you and your woman, me and my woman, dude. We're gonna we're gonna be the this next is, Adam. This is Adam fucking, and Colette, dude. This is this Heather's fucking donor. What do you mean? It's like Heather's loner. Oh yeah, her, her loner drift missile. Yeah, loner missile. Quit, can I borrow the drift car again? Quit, there's a meet tonight. Can I, can I borrow it? No, take the Duramax. Uh, I mean, but the IS is cooler. No, dude, the Duramax is definitely gonna be our fucking tow hauler, though. Get a two car wedge. It has the gooseneck attachment. It the gooseneck. The, the gooseneck attachment. It has the hole for it. It actually just needs the adapter installed. Yeah. No, um. It's like half the adapter is there. What the fuck I was going to say? Oh, get it. <coughs> like Taylor A. Get an enclosed gooseneck. The thing is, I don't like. The I would like is, to pull it open. Where the fuck would we, like, put that? Jeremy. <laughs> no. No. I haven't talked to him, so. Uh, no, we'd have to, the barn, probably. Or we'd have to pull a Taylor Ray and get a place and put it there. I, but it, depending on where we'd live. <laughs> we're in a suburban area, and we're just kind of like going to sneak it in the backyard. I don't, I don't think we could. No, we're like, going to take down the really fence, <laughs> sneak it in the backyard. <laughs> You're good. You're, You're good. good. You're, You're good. good. Like House on your left. <laughs> and he's just ripping, I'm just ripping down the fence. This <laughs> You're good. Yeah, keep you're going. Keep, keep, coming. keep going. <laughs> but uh, oh, fuck. I don't know. I uh, I don't know. This is all like long term shit, obviously. But the real like, this is all gonna have to like really take off and come together when we do get a place. Mm-hmm. Because it's just gonna be like our own creative area where we can basically just and you could paint your car, sprawl out, and not get criticized. Basically. basically. <laughs> Cause I'm literally I'm probably gonna just like Power wash that whole Fucking piece off <laughs> I'm just gonna like Do, you do a, understand do you a to line thick down with it though Yeah Like you're gonna have to Like do like Three layers Yeah Over everything yeah. So we're gonna have to do One like just powder layer Over all of it Do another whole powder layer Over it's all of it It's definitely gonna be A weekend process Probably a two day process Like I'm probably gonna have to Start this Saturday night Morning When I have Work on Saturdays Till five so then I guess Thursday. Thursday, I'll probably have to get it all set up to then come home Saturday to start painting. So I don't have to set everything up. Tape it all off like Thursday night and everything. Get it ready for Saturday night. Yeah. Have you come over Saturday night. Give me a hand. We'll drink. Paint the car. Come stream. Play video games. I'll drive you home. We'll have Heather drive you home and then pick you up in the next morning. Or we can just paint through the night. Yeah. It's not like we have anything to do on Sunday. It would be the first time. It's not going to be the last time. We, I remember you and Angelo painting the Miata and working on it, lowering it till like six in the fucking morning. Yeah. I went and took a two hour nap. I came back out. You guys are still working <laughs> on it. It is The sun is coming up. Yeah. And you're like, I'll go to the gas station. I'm pretty cigarettes. sure it was in the middle of winter too. Yep. It, Cause it was, I was freezing my ass out there. Yeah. I wasn't doing anything. Both of you guys were working on the car, and I'm just, like, chilling there. Like, Yeah, because I was in the middle of lowering it, and he was in the process of painting it. Yeah, so he, you're on one side. He's on the other side. I'm just sitting there in front of the heater, like, it's cold. 
And I remember the bolt didn't want to come out. Yeah. Like the one bolt for the uh, upper control arm in the front. Yeah, I remember this. Yeah. I need to pee. Hmm? I need to pee. Do you? What time are we at? We're almost there. we got like five more minutes. It's all good. But dude, like, I'm just excited for the season. I'm more hype for you and Heather to get our name out there. That's what I'm saying. Like, I want to drift with Heather so bad. Yeah. I really just want to hug it sideways. Speaking of Heather. There she is. Are you ready to uh, drift this season? We were just talking about you and how I'm I'm here? excited for... I'm excited for you and trying to get our name out there. Yeah, we're going to have to dedicate our lives to drifting. We're currently in the middle of uh, trying to get a sponsorships right now. I'm filling out the application. It's for the IS, too. Yeah. So... Uh, I might need. I'm well. I'm gonna ask you to help later on for writing this, so. or at least I'll write it and then you can just read it over. No, no. <laughs> we didn't do a camera this time. We're just kind of mm-hmm. just a vibe because like we're not like. I'm just really tired and not motivated right now. Yeah, Quinn's hung over. Well, that and my allergies are fucking me right now. Yeah. <laughs> I jinxed Quentin. He did. I said I was talking about I was talking to myself last week and I was like I'm like man it's gonna start warming up and I'm like it's gonna be spring and Quinn's just gonna get fucked with allergies. There he is, mm-hmm. fucked with allergies. I took one <laughs> of your next week. Upstairs, by the way. They're in their closet on top of your dresser. It's where all of the pills are because I organized them all. But okay, they're in there though. So I took one. <laughs> Cause you I got more pills than you. No, dude, she has some like decent pills that she I got don't more even pills take. Than you. I got more pills than you. I'm gonna pop a Zan and fucking play some breakfast. No, you won't. I got tram it all. Fuck around, that, fuck around and turn me to the old me. <laughs> yeah, okay. I got fucking muscle relaxers and fucking painkillers. Do a fucking line of coke. Yeah, good and luck trying to get that right now. <laughs> Mr. No Money Having Ass. I'll call Ryan. Ryan will be so down to go <laughs> okay. do some fucking coke right now. <laughs> you can be like, Ryan, I'm down to do some coke. I'll buy a bag and be like, oh, Dude, did you okay. Fucking Jim fucking... <laughs> Jim send you the picture of our old co-worker smoking the cigarette with girl makeup on? Yeah. And I'm like, bro, what the oh, fuck? Oh, no. <laughs> folks. Oh, folks, folks. Um, you poking? Did you poke yeah. me? The, the name we just said. Like, who are we talking about? Trend can call? <laughs> yeah. But, um... Yeah, we're, Heather's gonna fucking slide. Yep. Heather's we're gonna we're get her a racing seat because she fucking is gonna fly all over in the fucking stock seat. Literally. First <laughs> time I tried to do something with the GS, I almost put into a curb. It's too big for you. This is gonna be Heather... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The IS is gonna be perfect for her. It's the yeah, same I motor. Yeah, I have a fucking 2500 AC. Well, that has more power than my Lexus. But I'm break saying, tires, no yeah, problem with fucking mud same. tires. I feel too small in the fucking IS. I get in the Jetta today, and I'm like, ask Trenton. I'm like, we're getting like coming back from getting food, and I'm just like, how did I drive one of these? I'm like so big in this car. I feel huge in it, but I'm small. That's what I'm saying. Like, I feel so fucking. It feels big. perfect size for me. I'm like sitting up, and Trenton's like, you look really like tall in here. Well, because the seat's pumped up. You no, didn't pump the seat no, down. No, the seat was down all the way. I was down all the way. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's I'm like <laughs> when me and Angelo were on the highway <laughs> and we were told that we look like a Mario Kart because we're Angelo looks like Donkey Kong and I'm like Luigi or something. Jesus. I'm like that was terrible. I say you're good or whatever. The Corolla though, the thing was tiny tin can. That was Heather's favorite car. And that's also the car that got Heather fractured pelvis in like three places. You know what else I want to build? A Camry or a Corolla with a Honda motor and make like 400 horsepower Dude, for no fucking reason. You know reason. what we could do? <laughs> it's, it's, it's not going to be a car anymore. They should put a Duramax. Yeah, like, they should put a Duramax and a Camaro. Yo, what if we took a Corolla and made it like a sand rail? Like a buggy? Yeah. Put a Corolla body on a truck frame. What if we bought like? <laughs> what if we bought a rolled like like an auction like rolled or like a wrecked like Polaris? Cut Put every a Corolla body on and it and just slapped a Corolla body over it. You could do that. But no, 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 no. Like, so you know how they do like the truck lifts with the frame adapters? 
what if we just did that and like hooked basically cut the frame off of this Polaris and just slapped like everything to the Corolla body yeah, yeah. good yeah, this is very possible very but the thing is if you have a transverse engine and trans mm -hmm. that's sideways you're gonna have to do like you know how they have the chain driven like ones for the lifted trucks for like that go down to the front diff or whatever yeah it's gonna have to be like that I still think we should just get a fucking old, old ninety seven Camry, champagne, and just K swap the fuck out or of it, or turbo it in there and just see how long it lasts. I think we should just K swap it and make like and a thousand FMU horsepower. In it. No, I don't want to do it to where it's fucking like like you spin fifth <laughs> gear. Yeah, <laughs> literally, I want it to be like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I get quick traction. but reliable. Yeah. Why? Because I'm fucking drinking. That's not lit. You are not lit. <laughs> yeah, because these allergies. <laughs> the drunk Trenton's lit. And the fucking Zyrtex, like, making me drowsy. So it's like... Sand's got me fucked up. Dude, I gotta pee so bad. <laughs> you can wait. <coughs> we need to go on a vacation. Oh, we are. When? In May. Oh, you're right. I gotta pee. <laughs> Dude, me, me and me and Jim are playing Fez the other night, or like maybe a week or two. I think it may have been a week ago, yeah. last weekend. And I'm sitting there, and we're about to load into the game, and we're playing with two randoms. <laughs> All you hear is him hitting the bong in the background, and then. <laughs> <laughs> it rips the fuck out of it and lets it go. And he goes, <gasps> oh, 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 oh. I, like, like, I, I was like, I was like, oh, the job of the hut. I'm like, oh, the classic job of the hut. Yeah. Like, hear him start dying. Jim? And yeah, and he's just like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> and I'm just like, exactly. <laughs> if you don't know, dude, the fucking bong rip that makes you just die and that just like. That cough, you know that cough when you hear it. It's called the job of the hut. Keep it. It's a cough. Keep it going. It's a it's a bong. It's a it's a weed smoker bong ripper thing. You wouldn't get it. You wouldn't get it. <laughs> nah, dude. I don't even really smoke that much. I've like kind of limited myself to like two dabs a day. Damn, look at you. Trends coming back. I just like it's like because it's gotten to the point now where it's like <laughs> I can drink to go to bed. <laughs> I can drink to go to bed. <laughs> But it's like I need it when I get home to just like decompress. Yeah, I guess. Cause like I'll come home and like my mind is just not right. Your mind's just gone. My mind is just fucked. Like I just last night, get my mind right. My mind last night, like I got home and I'm just like, I'm Ugh. I'm gonna get angry. I know I'm gonna get angry, <laughs> so I'm like, I need to smoke. I just need to like chill on my phone for an hour, just like mm -hmm. vibe out, let the weed kick in, <laughs> let my, my headache go away a little bit. So I did that. And then I got up, Heather came in the room, she had made food too. Someone took a shower, and I'm like, this shower's about to fucking help with this headache. So it I went, help. it helped a little bit, enough where I could like eat, because I was like, I got out of the shower, and I'm like, your boy's fucking starving. Yeah. And I'm like, alright, I'm gonna go fuck up this pasta. Fucked up this pasta, and I was like, alright, the headache's back. <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna lay down. I'm like, alright, time to go to bed. And I tried, I, like, I drank one Reds last night, mm -hmm. and I'm just like, want to drink I got like, like, that's how much my head hurt I did not I want to drink I finished a tall boy margarita oh my god finished the bottle of whiskey and then drank like eight beers <laughs> I was obliterated and then I fucking I was on the phone with Jim and I'm maxing on three hot dogs oh and goldfish I'm like Jim I, I was on the phone I'm like Jim just stuffed your face I was like should I make two hot dogs or three he's like three I was like, <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was talking to him last night. We should do a day where we go over and drink at his house for we a weekend, like a Saturday night. There. Like, no, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, we have to stay there. Like, throw a little party at his house. I guess. Like a Saturday night kind of thing, yeah. Sunday morning. Yeah. <clears throat> Bring like some 
like video games, something mm-hmm. board games. Yo, we could do board. We could do a drinking night board game. Jesus, I'm a run gym in Monopoly. He, that's what we played last time when I went over. Yeah. We were ugh, me and Heather were supposed to. I felt so bad about this situation. Me and Heather were supposed to go over there during uh, last October to carve pumpkins. Well, I didn't think it was like the like, like that's what we were mainly doing. Turns out that's what we were mainly doing was carving pumpkins. Oof. And uh, so I got there, no Heather or pumpkins, and it was kind of awkward. Trans like, ooh. And I felt really bad because like they seemed so down, like so ready to carve pumpkins, and I yeah. didn't bring pumpkins, and I'm just like, uh, anxiety. Uh. <laughs> Well, but then we just his little brother was there as well, so we, we just started playing some board games. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know, well, know what time are we at. We can end it there on uh, pumpkin carving. Man, yeah. my anxiety getting the best of me. My allergies getting the best of me. <clears throat> well, yeah, we can call it quits. Yeah. Thanks well, for listening. Uh, hopefully, we'll see you next week. We will see you next week, and hopefully, we'll have a camera again. Look out for more content on our Facebook, YouTube, and TikTok. And uh, I don't think we have Facebook. Hit us up on Twitter. Or no, we do. Uh, we just got Facebook. We got yeah, Facebook, yeah. Twitter, TikTok. I have a Snapchat, but I, I it's not. Really I don't put anything on Snapchat. And uh, and yeah. watch our YouTube. Is videos. that the only social medias we have? Watch our YouTube, and our YouTube. Yeah, and our sometimes Twitch. Yep. And then are sometimes just, just support us, man. Just look up the name on pretty much anything, and you'll probably find it. <laughs> yeah, as long as it's got the little brain and lotion emoji, it's us. Yeah, or the bottle. Yep. But uh, peace. We'll peace talk in to the you Middle later. East. Okay, I was about to peace out of the camera, dude. I'm not like I gotta go pee so bad. <laughs> <laughs>